Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joelle Simone Anthony. I'm also known as The Grave Woman and if this is your first time here, I want to ask that you go ahead and hit the subscription button as well as the notifications bell so that you can be updated anytime I upload new content. So today I'm answering more viewer questions and the first question comes from Joe Basilo and your question reads, can you please discuss how you dress a dead person? I hear so much on how you dress a dead person, but can you do the step-by-step -step procedure? Thank you. Joe, this is a great question, and believe it or not, I get asked this question all of the time. Um, the easiest way to answer this question is to simply say that we, we put the clothes on. Now, a lot of people ask whether we cut the clothes or if alterations have to be made to the deceased clothes in order for them to fit. And the answer to that question is, in some cases, we do cut the clothes. And the way that we do that is that we simply, on men's jackets, shirts, women's blouses, jackets, and dresses, we simply cut a straight line up the back seam of the garment. We place the garment over the arms, you know, put the arms on, and then we sew or make sutures in the garment down the back, um, on around the neck, around the midline or the waistline, and we just position the clothes so that they fit as aesthetically pleasing and as na most natural looking as possible. Now, the step-by-step -step for putting on clothes on the deceased is pretty much the same way that you dress a baby. That's how I like to think of it and that's how I like to explain it when I'm talking to others about it. We put the socks on, we put underwear on. Now, in many cases, we do put on plastic um, protective undergarments, which protect from soiling or leakage or purge getting on the deceased clothes or the casket. Um, this is done at least the undergarment as far as underwear is concerned on almost everyone who's been embalmed and who is being casketed. Also individuals that haven't been embalmed are also dressed with uh, plastic protective covers. Now there are full body plastic protective garments that basically cover the entire body from the neck to the feet and those are used in extreme cases of purge. Not every deceased has that full body garment placed on them and that garment leaves the hands out and again the head and neck area out so that the deceased you know doesn't have plastic or have that garment showing but we we put the clothes on step by step just like we would if we were dressing a baby the socks the underwear on top of the plastic garments bras for women uh, shoes pants and this is done by simply in most cases, pulling pants up the legs and buttoning them, applying the belt, tucking the deceased shirt into the pants and the belt, putting the jacket on, buttoning everything up and making sure that everything, again, is as, as aesthetically pleasing and natural looking as possible. Again, sometimes alterations are required where we have to cut the backs of the clothing or many times when people have lost weight due to sickness or you know whatever we just we um will i don't want to say him but we'll tighten the clothes or use clips to just like they do on fashion sets to make the clothes appear more fitted so that's basically the dressing process for the deceased i hope that this answered your question and thank you so much for asking. The next question that we have comes from Brenda. And your question is, is it true that a body in a casket is strapped down under their clothes to keep the body from moving and sliding during transport? I have never seen a body strapped down into a casket. However, what I have seen is items placed around the deceased to keep the body in position, particularly the arms. Sometimes we'll use casket inserts um, that are either bought or created in the funeral home. And they're either foam or styrofoam or sometimes plastic. And we'll use those to position the body if we're going to be carrying them up a flight of stairs or transporting them in the hearse for long distances 
or if for some reason the deceased body shifts when we're casketing them we'll go on ahead and use those inserts to just make everything look as aesthetically pleasing as possible and as natural as possible um again i've never seen a body strap down I'm not saying that it doesn't happen. I've just never seen it and I've actually never heard of it either. But that is a great question. Let me see. Is there anything else that I want to add to that? I feel like I had something else to say about that, but maybe I didn't. So thank you so much for your question. Thank you. Thank you both so much for your questions. If you have a question that you'd like to submit to possibly be answered in video format, please either comment in the comment section below or email your question directly to thegravewoman at gmail.com. Again, my name is Joelle Simone Anthony. I'm also known as The Grave Woman. Thank you for watching. Live life, love hard, and I'll talk to you next time.